everybody, welcome back to the second part of the light strip uh, helmet decoration kind of thingy. I don't know what. <laughs> so in the previous video, I did an unboxing slash unwrapping, and inside we found this light strip. So it has come to my knowledge that this is actually a knockoff, and the original one is called light mode. If you want the real deal with the higher quality and the higher price tag, of course, just go search for light mode. I will put a link in the description. So this is basically a cheap knockoff that I bought from Wish. You can probably find this on Alibaba, Aliexpress, eBay, whatever. Today we're gonna try to put it on to the helmet and I actually been thinking back and forth on how to actually mount this kind of thing like this, like this, or maybe just put it inside like that. I got the red one primarily because the helmet is red and black and white as you can see, but also to be seen from behind a bit better but the deal is that here in Sweden at least it's actually prohibited it's illegal to uh, ride your vehicle with a red light source pointing towards your destination you're only allowed to have the red color pointing backwards so the traffic behind you can see you so let's say that I would mount this like the most of people does about here something like that the whole side as you can see and a little bit of the front will be illuminated by the red color, which is in fact illegal. So that takes away kind of the whole point of this because mainly I want this to be illuminated while riding the dark roads in the nights, in the evenings here in Sweden. So what I've been thinking is how I could put this to be more on the actual back of the helmet. And this is basically the position and the other one will come here. And actually, to protect the cable a little bit, I'm intending to put it basically like this. So I will hide the end of the cable or the end of the strip underneath the helmet and tuck it in here underneath later. So basically we will have one of these over here. The other one will come in something like that. And we will have the red light source in the back something like this <laughs> okay this is really messy <laughs> i don't know how much you can actually see of this but something along this way let me grab one and show you a little bit more so basically what we get is something like this and yes as you can see it will still be on the side it will still be a little bit on the front but i do believe that it's less than hair it's a bit better here, I believe. Or what do you guys say? Let me know in the comment down below. Or maybe I should just put it over there. No, actually, I like it like this. And it's a bit different because everybody puts it here, so I'm not gonna do it. And the second reason to not put it down here is because, as you can see, if I put this kind of a line here on the side, more or less over there, you will see that in the back, the cable will actually stick kind of upwards from the helmet, like that. And of course, I could tuck it down and try to hide it, but it's kind of messy with the cable here in the back, so I prefer to just swap it down and, as I said, hide it underneath here, something like that. I think that will be so much better. Alright guys, so as you can see I just got started here and uh, to be honest, this kind of bugs me a lot. I don't know if you can see it too well, but so this is kind of a circle here, yeah, that's gonna be illuminated. And the middle is not cut out, this kind of plastic thing. So that looks really crappy, to be honest. And also, as you can notice, there is like a transparent edge all the way around. And here on the right side, it's a bit thicker than on the other side. So yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. When you're gonna put this on, make sure that the helmet is kind of clean. Also your hands, keep them clean so it's not dirty here underneath because then it won't stick too good. I decided to put this circle to kind of down the edge over here. And also we will hide this here or tuck it in later so i'm not really too worried about that i hope it won't break i don't have to make it too sharp the turn here around so anyways this is where we're at right now this one is still not mounted i'm gonna show you just up here so this is how it's gonna go it's gonna come up here 
all the way on the top almost and as you can see it's almost gonna block this vent mechanism but I'm gonna try my best to get it uh, straight to the edge here so it won't affect this and uh, well it looks not too bad I think it will be kind of right and uh, let's see how long this will actually be stuck to the helmet also this helmet has like an air outlet here from the ventilation or whatever so over here it's solid and this is where I actually want the lead strip to go over there not over here not over there but over here so let's see so I'm just gonna remove this actually I think I'm gonna remove yeah let's get rid of all of it and make sure not to touch it before you stick it and not accidentally put it like that sticking it like that that would be silly <laughs> so here we have it and let's just uh, yeah that's pretty much where we want it alrighty guys I'm gonna show you here so here on the top I gently mounted it like that as you can see it won't affect this one actually it's a little bit yeah it's gonna be fine I haven't pressed it on too tight yet as you can see here so let's see what happens when we try to do that it's gonna be a little bit kind of curvy yeah look at that so let's see if we could just kind of it's kind of sturdy so i guess we're gonna have a small gap here not too much to do about it i guess and this extra part is gonna be a bit tricky too yeah this kind of looks like crap from the back it's not gonna be too noticeable and this is all due to me wanting it to keep it right here without going that way while still maintaining the circle on the left side of the middle of the helmet so I can simply put the other one here I was also thinking about putting them on top of each other to keep like one circle in the middle one overlapping the other and the other one going like that but I figured it would look kind of cool with two circles also of course two circles dual visibility no <laughs> so yeah kind of crappy we have some gap over here so before proceeding with the other one I'm just gonna make sure that this still works after me bending it here and there and yes it works so this is what we have right now I'm gonna put on the other one and then we're gonna take a look at this in the dark so I just put this kind of thing over here so it won't stick anymore there and then I will be able to tidy the cables up once I got the second part mounted which I do have here alrighty guys so what I did I actually kind of counted these lines over here to get it aligned properly I think this is more or less equal I hope so and let's continue putting it on And there we go so that's not too bad I could do something about this I could just take it in a little bit more not too bad actually and this will be kind of protected from the worst rain maybe later I put something over here just to protect it even further actually it's pretty easy to just put anything in here going over put it in here that's it whatever some cloth whatever you like you could put over here so let's see what this thingy looks like in the dark but first we're gonna connect it we have the small cable here which I could easily just put in here to hide it there we go and then we have this in the pocket or whatever so yeah guys here we have it the light mode cheap knockoff version mounted onto the HEC C70 helmet by Moto Nordico. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment down below if this is something you might consider get or if it's complete rubbish. And I see you guys in the next video.